Akshay Batia wins the Valero Texas Open, and at 22 years old, he's got two PGA Tour wins. Today, we're going to analyze his golf swing and see the reasons why he's able to flush the ball so consistently. Taking a look at his setup, you're going to look at it and think, oh, he's got rounded shoulders, looks like a hunchback. If you don't think that this is an athletic posture or his golf swing isn't athletic, well, then you clearly have no idea what you're talking about. Akshay's posture, yes, he has rounded shoulders. Yes, there looks like there's a little bit of a hunchback. But if you take it up to the top of the backswing, look at the big turn he can generate with his hips and his shoulders because of this posture. If we got him to straighten up his back there and have a nice little nice line that's generated from his spine angle that is straight, you wouldn't be it would be difficult for him to be able to get a big hip turn and a big shoulder turn from considering what he does now. And so there's absolutely no reason for him to adjust to that. You see many great golfers, Jack Nicklaus, Matthew Wolf. A lot of golfers have this hunchback, rounded shoulders look, and it allows them to generate more range of, mo range of movement, especially with the upper body. So as we start Akshay's backswing, you're going to notice club face is in a relatively neutral position. But the big thing, again, what we talked about, these hips start to rotate open. These knees start to change flex. So what I mean by that is just take a look at the bending in the legs there. There's a lot more in that trap and that lead leg compared to the trail leg and we're going to get a little bit more even more even more up towards the top of the backswing. Akshay's arm structure and is it is in a relatively neutral position here say just on the inside of his heels and as he comes into the golf ball, you're going to notice this nice shallowing move that he has and he gets the club into an awesome position there outside the ball line with that shaft line there. But the big thing is that Akshay is squatting down in towards the ground as well, really using that ground force to be able to generate some speed. But he's also getting that lead hip to work down and towards the ground as well. This is going to offset the, the shallowing motion so that his club path isn't too far out to the left there. And so the shallowing movement is going to shift the path left. The hip down and to the right is going to shift the path more. And what happens is they marry up and come straight towards the middle or towards the flag of where he's trying to hit the ball. As we continue in towards the hitting zone, you're going to notice this extremely athletic position like we talked about. His hips are pointing miles towards the target and chest is opened up extremely nicely as well. He's only able to create this rotation with how nicely the club is shallowing and also with his posture at the start of, the back, the start of his swing. And we get through towards the finish here. You see a nice little pallet there out of the ground. And what you're going to notice is that Akshay has a relatively low exit here, so quite significantly underneath that shoulder, underneath the right shoulder. You would expect to see that with someone who has a lot of body rotation. As more the chest rotates open in the downswing, the more the club will work out towards the right for a left-handed golfer. And so it's pretty typical to see that low and right exit that Akshay has. Overall, absolutely love his move. Very powerful for not a very big guy. He can hit it plenty far enough and it's super awesome to see him just dominating the game at the moment.